Hey guys, it's me, DJ Sky from Paul's Drag Race Season 14, and welcome back to my channel. Bow, 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 bow. You guys, new setup, who dis? Woo! I have not gotten rid of my old setup. It's just, depending on how I'm feeling, I like this little like black and white kind of moment. And then obviously my pink wall is never going anywhere. Today we are doing another tier video. They are not gone. We're doing a tier video and this time it is season 15. Now if you think back, pretty much the really big start of my channel was doing my data analysis of season 15. So I know these lip syncs inside and out. As always, before we get started, please don't forget to compliment the mug, the makeup. Ignore the hairline. Yes, I am super aware that my hairline looks crazy, but if you close your eyes and imagine Beyonce, it's gonna look gorgeous. And as always, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into this tier video of season 15. Now, I love season 15, I love all of the girls of season 15, I think they're fucking This was such a good season, and so we are gonna get into it. Now we are gonna go from first lip sync, you know how it is. So first lip sync is Irene versus Amethyst, and this is going right into the category of why you did what needed to be done. I don't think that this was a lip sync that anyone on this earth remembers fondly. I'm not saying it was terrible, I just think it was one of those forgettable lip syncs. I think Irene, the over-exaggeration, no, 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 no. I loved how Amethyst did the song. I think it was really cute, cutesy. She had levels. But as always, this is not one of the lip syncs that I'm like, oh yeah, remember I, no, no, no. That's why it is in the Y category for they did what needed to be done. Because they did, you know. I think they were both fine. Moving on, the next lip sync is Amethyst versus Poppy. And this is the first lip sync in Killing It. Now, I know you guys are probably like, why is this lip sync in Killing It? I think they both had great moment. Poppy, when she treated this as a meet and greet, went to the back. I thought that was so freaking iconic in my opinion. She's an iconic queen. And Amethyst, she was Diana Ross. Mama, she was giving Diana. You know what I mean? So the next lip sync is Sugar versus Spice, and this is going down to erase everything all at once. It was terrible. It was atrociously terrible. My qualm with the twins is they are literally so beautiful. I mean, stunning. And then they're just like, hey, bro. It's just, I don't know. To me, it's like a conundrum. It's like they're so soft and gorgeous and, and flawless dolls. And then they perform like G.I. Joes. But this lip sync in general was sloppy, messy. It was giving duet, but it was giving hey, we have to fill this time. Does anyone have a duet that they want to do? Next lip sync is Amethyst versus Selena, and this is going right into the category of killing it. You guys, I love this lip sync. It was clear, in my opinion, Selena was staying. She is a great, well-rounded lip syncer. She's amazing. I have known her for years. I've worked with her for years. She's amazing, and this is the type of lip sync that I know her for. It was everything Amethyst. Amethyst, I think at, at this point, it was like, loved you, loved you, bye-bye. Next up is Jax versus Robin, and this is staying in the category of killing it. Robin Fierce, the mug, the face, was sitting. Ooh, blonde hair looks so good on this, but Jax demolished you. <laughs> I'm not gonna say. Jax, this was Jax's first lip sync. And we got to see a little bit of what she gives, a little bit of what she does. Obviously, we saw it in the talent show a little bit, but we got to see like, oh, oh, oh. Now, hated the song, by the way. Hated this song choice. And I think they both did a great job conveying it in their own different way. But maybe this was a lip sync that I don't think it comes to mind when I think of season 15. But I know for a fact that when I rewatch it, I'm like, the that and that's why they kill it. This is the first lip sync in the S tier and this is Jax versus Aura and let me tell you it is not because of Aura. Love you sis. You are a gorgeous flawless being of love. Jax murdered you. Mama Jax ate you alive. You know how I said last lip sync we're like oh this is what Jax does. Jax took it, cranked it up, ripped the knob off. That's what she did. Jax oh my God, if you don't consider Jax a lip sync assassin, I wouldn't want to lip sync against her. I'm just putting that out there. 
When I when I think of a lipstick assassin, I think of Jax. I really do. This lipstick was so sickening. This the song was sickening. They both looked sickening, and Jax killed it. Aura knew about five words, and that's fine. That's totally fine. This is the lip sync that I will remember from season 15. Moving right along, we are getting into the lip sync Lala Perusa lip syncs. Now, the first one, <laughs> I'm laughing because I remember this moment so fondly of like, she was gagged. She was gooped and gagged. This is going to be Malaysia versus Marsha, and it is staying in the S tier for sickening. Again, it's not because of Malaysia. Marsha killed it. Malaysia. Miss Congeniality, gorgeous. Stunning. Marsha trolled you in the best possible way, okay? Marsha didn't have to talk about what she was doing. She didn't have to do, you know, she, she showed, you know? When you did a kick that was, you know, here, mama, I understand. I get it. Marsha looked at you and did a kick up here. Then she backflipped. Then she... Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Trolled your ass. Oh, so good. It was so sickening. And here's the thing. She literally surprised every single person in that room. They were like, wait. We... Because clearly Malaysia picked her because she didn't think she was going to do much. Turned out she was wrong. So next up is Spice versus Lucy. And this is going to erase everything all at once. Oh, mama. What the f*** was this? Spice walked around. What's up, homeboy? Went to the ground. Flipped back up. Went to the ground again. Lucy dropped on her knees. Did a little kick. Next lip sync is Lux versus Selena, and this is going into the S category for sickening. This is by far, I think, top two to three of my favorite lip syncs of this season. Selena S. Titties. I can't talk much. I can't talk enough about this. It was everything. I don't know if Celine Dion saw this lip sync. But I guarantee you, if she saw this lip sync, she'd be gagged in like the best possible way. Selena added every Selena thing to add in a Selena lip sync. The camp, the the uh, stunts, the wow factor, the mouth, the emotion. She added everything to this. It was so good to watch. And the fact that Lux was kind of like, oh, I thought I... Not saying Lux didn't do good, because she, she did good. But Selena ate you. She devoured you. Like, it was just so sickening to watch. Literally by far one of my favorite lip syncs of the season. Moving right along, this is Jax versus Mistress, and this is going right into the category of K for killing it. Look, they both killed it. I think in this specific lip sync, emotion was more powerful than stunts, okay? Jax is a stunt queen. She's one of those girls that's gonna give you a backflip, hit, hit, boom, 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 boom. I think in this instance, it just backfired on her. You know, at this point, we had already seen her lip sync twice, so he had already seen her tricks. With Mistress, this is our first time seeing her lip sync. So she gave the old school drag, Diva Mama. Of course she put a split in there, hello. But she didn't have to do much. She was just giving all of this, all of that, all of the titties. It was so good. Jax held her own, but I can, I can say Mistress won this lip sync. But they both killed it. Next lip sync is Sasha versus Anitra. And this, and no doubt going into the S category for sickening. These are two of my favorite lip syncers of all time. And I'm talking about prior to the show. I'm not talking about, I saw them on show in their, in their, no, 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 no. I was huge fans of them before RuPaul's Drag Race. The lip sync is everything, they're everything, they're sickening. Next up is Malaysia versus Spice, and this is going all the way down to erase everything all at once. I don't think I need to explain why this is just a terrible lip sync on both ends. Like, not knowing most of the words, not really getting the vibe and the familiarity of the song, and just not giving it. Next up is Anitra versus Lux versus Jax, and this is going all the way up, the opposite of E, to S for sickening bitch. All Three of these divas were in their element and killed this song. I don't think I've ever seen a three-way lip sync where all three of them killed it. Where all three of them could have been called safe. This was absolutely sickening. This was, hands down, I think Lux's best performance to date, in my opinion. But I just think that, like, Lux just 
was captivating. Anitra, come on, come on. Jax, come. It's just such, such a good lip sync. Next up is the final lip sync in the Lala Perusa, and this is Jax versus Anitra, and this is going right into the category of K for killing it. Okay, this is the last lip sync of, of the Lala Perusa. I know y'all bitches are tired. Couldn't tell. Still turned it out. Iconic song, iconic queens, iconic lip sync. This was so good. I think that if we wouldn't have seen them lip sync prior, I think it probably would have been in sick. But because we have already seen them kind of turn it, I feel like with finally, it was almost like, okay, we've already seen everything. So now it's just like, who's going to turn it out slightly more? And Anitra's turn it out slightly more. They both obviously relied on tricks. Hello, they're stunt queens, they're divas, they're dancers. But this was just such a good lip sync, you guys. The killed it. So sad to see Jax go. Next lip sync is Spice versus Selena, and this is going into E, erase everything all at once. Why this song, RuPaul? RuPaul. RuPaul. Little Nas X, great. Girl, you could have picked Montero. You could have picked something better. Old Town Road! Spice is spice. Let's let's move on. Spice is spice, okay? Selena, we know, turns it out. Didn't say I hated her rendition. I was just more or less like it went over everyone's head. It was fine. It was totally fine. Uh, actually, no, it was not fine. It was terrible. Okay. Next up is Malaysia versus Selena. And this is going into the category of why you did what needed to be done. This is Beyonce. If you do not know the choreography verbatim, don't do the choreography. Don't do a half watered down version of the choreo. And, and I again, I love my sister. She had one of my favorite lip syncs of the whole season. This was not one of them. When it comes down towards the end of the competition, you're drained. You guys, it's exhausting. It's physically, but it's mentally exhausting to be there for that long. So I'm just gonna maybe assume that maybe they were just mentally drained and maybe they were just more or less like, all right, well, I've lip synced a lot and I'm kind of just like, well, if I go home, I go home. But it just, it just, it just was sloppy. It just wasn't giving at all. We are gonna go into Marsha, Marsha, Marsha versus Anitra and you know where this is going. Right into as for Sickening. Now this is a lot of people's and Michelle's Favorite lip sync of the season. Actually, didn't Michelle say this is like one of her favorite lip syncs of all time or the her favorite lip sync of all time? Work Diva. These b worked together. The most iconic part of this lip sync is the, the free willy part, right? That's the most iconic part and they work together with it. Baby, this lip sync was everything. The, first of all, sickening song, Doja, work it out. It was just so good. Two well-rounded, amazing lip syncers just turning it I honestly, truly thought it was gonna be a double Shantae. I really did. Next lip sync is Selena S. Titties and Lucy LaDuca, and this is going right into the category of why you did what needed to be done. If you guys haven't already seen my video, this is a song that I want to be redone because it just wasn't giving. Selena, again, I just think she was just done. I think she was checked out because I know if Selena could redo the song, she would have turned it out so much harder. Lucy was there, Lucy was fine. This was not a lip sync that I would ever remember for the good reason. Let's just say that. So next up is Lucy LaDuca versus Lux Noir London. And this is going right into the category of K for killing it. Now, Lucy was not the one killing it. Lux demolished. Now I know for a fact, obviously they had their little rough and tough, you know, in general. So it obviously added fuel to the fire, which is amazing. We saw such a good lip sync from Lux. <laughs> we are coming down to the final two lip syncs. Now, this lip sync, the finale lip sync, not the grand finale, the finale, is against Mistress and Anitra. And this is going to run to the category of K for killing it. Honestly, this lip sync was a culmination of the season. It's two divas that I was like, please don't leave, please don't go. We need you, we need you, you guys are flawless, sickening. Honestly, what would have taken it there? If Anitra would have kept the skirt on and ducked walked in a gown. I don't know if that's possible. It was such a sickening lip sync. I love them both. I think they are killing it in general in life. These are queens that have longevity. These are queens that will go on for years and years. So we have come down to the grand finale lip sync. This is against Anitra and Sasha, part two. And this 
you guys already know, is gonna go right up into sickening Now, can I say something? Can I just say something? I don't know if she was able to do this, but why Anitra didn't pull out wood boards and knock and karate chop them? You possibly could have won the season! She could have called back to her iconic talent show. You could have knocked on wood and gotten the crown, maybe. But I mean, like, let, let's call a spade a spade. Sasha tore. Sasha burned that Oh, it was everything. Both of these lip syncs that they have done together were sickening. Ooh, it was so good. Well, you guys, that was my tier video for season 15 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Now, as always, comment below. Where do these lip sync? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Is there anything that you would love to see more on the channel? Thank you guys so much for your support and your love. I always see subscribers coming back, so I love you guys so much. Well, without further ado, please don't forget to follow me on all my social media. And I'll see you next time, my video. Bye. <laughs>